The Country Vibe with Chuck and Becca is on the air. Hey everybody, I'm Chuck. And I'm Becca. We are so excited The Country Vibe is back for a third season. That's right, more of what you love, including interviews with today's legends and tomorrow's stars. Their Twitter headline reads, we're super interesting and funny, <laughs> and OMG they are. Okay. <laughs> Now, I'm going to ask you a question. It's kind of a reverse uh -oh. question. Here we go again. Uh -oh. well, this isn't even the game yet. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. This is See, you worried me, man. I know what I've read. I could not be more excited to be seen. Welcome, Mel Tellis. It's great to see you, Mel. It's good to be here, my friend. Now, you've been so busy, you've done so many things, but you just put out your first comedy CD. What took you so long? No matter who you are, you know, even if you're a city slicker like Chuck, back in the studio, there's some <laughs> guy that you can tell. He couldn't sing that song and make it believable. Right. right gotcha. But even those people have a hillbilly bone. All right. Well, we'll find out maybe later from Chuck if he has one. And you know the. Well, I really don't. Well, oh, I see what you're saying. I'm yeah. just going to ask. Okay. <laughs> we brought you. Yeah. Here we go. There you go. Thank you very much. Absolutely. You know, you feel so much better now. And everybody's loving it. By the end of the night, when everybody's on the beach. <laughs> All right. Right now, we're going to check in with Becca for another country show. Thanks, Chuck. You know, Trace Adkins may not seem like the kind of guy that would be familiar with pop star Justin Bieber's music, but he recently told CNN, I have three daughters and they make me listen to that stuff all the time. Want a kiss from Taylor Swift? There's an app for that. Jennifer Nettles of Sugarland loves to throw dinner parties and she says her favorite meal to serve is soup. Miranda Lambert says she loves it when mothers come up to her with their daughters at her concerts and thank her for setting a good example. But she also knows that she's not perfect and that young girls shouldn't follow all of her examples. George Strait has been making music and entertaining his fans for 30 years since releasing his first single, Unwound, back in 1981. But he says he is nowhere near being done. Even though I've been doing it for so long, I still feel fresh and even when I walk out on stage, you know, I, I still feel pretty much the same way I've always felt. Cause I need a little twang. But we're gonna play a little game called Am I Pulling Your Leg? Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay, so now I know that your parents owned a roller skating rink in Kansas and you've described yourself as eight wheels of country western thunder. Jared Neyman, Am I Pulling Your Leg? I'm here with Toby Keith. Hey Toby, how are you? Uh, great. We have so much to talk about. I know you have been in the studio producing your daughter's first album. She's really country, and where I'm sitting here thinking, man, I gotta cut something that, that's out there and hot and new, I don't really. She's country, and I just need to let her be country. You've got a little growth going right here. <laughs> is that uh, because of the Oak Ridge Boys? It is. Uh, we have, we have Lee Golden, as we know, who he talked me into this. Man, he said, man, you need to grow that on out there and let's see what it would look like. So in spirit of the Oak Ridge Boys and the Y'all Come Back Saloon, I'm kind of getting into my old, you know, Billy the Kid mode. One thing that was interesting to me, we talk a lot about Twitter and Facebook and all of that. Yeah. You've got some fun followers on Twitter <laughs> recently who just started following you. Joy Bay. Joy Bay from, from The, the View. View. Yeah. We did the Miss America patch. Uh -huh. together and you know and we are from two totally <laughs> different worlds brad has all the the new acts and the opening acts come out on stage and sing the encore song alcohol i think we were we were walking up to the stage to sing the encore to get out on the stage in front of like you know 20 some thousand fans in chicago probably 27,000. and um we just had this moment where we just looked at each other and we we're like man this is there's no place other job or other place that we'd rather be right now doing this. What we're gonna do right now, check out our Retro Rewind video. Now we were talking a little bit about Keith Urban earlier. This was the last single release from his self-titled album, the third top five single of his career. It reached number three on the Billboard charts. This is Keith Urban and Where the Black Top Ends. I'm gonna kick on my shoes and run and Right now, though, we're going to check in with Becca, who has this week's Glory Bound video. Ashton Shepard is as country as they come. She's working on her second album for MCA Nashville, which she'll release later this year. This is the first single off that album, this week's Glory Bound video, a very funny one. Look it up on the country vibe. Oh, oh, oh. I got hey, babe, what the hell? The word is faithful. Look it up. Now it's time for the Country Vibes Direct Line with Justin Moore, fueled by clear, super-fast mobile internet. 
We are back in the Clear We're Lounge. Back. Yes, yes we We're are. Back. You know the drill. This is Clear's Direct Line Lounge. We're with Justin Moore, who's becoming a pro at this. What do you think about my new tattoo? I so, just got it. Is that new? That's new. Who did that? Uh, Jerry did that. Really? I don't know his last name. And, and what inspired this? My daughter, you know that's your birthday. Oh, that's the birthday. Well, these numbers Jeez. aren't quite what compute in my mind. How many times have I had you over for dinner and explained <laughs> this kind of stuff? Ella, you? happy birthday. She, what, she's about Ask eight months? Ask me a question. Okay. Let's Here we it. go. Jordan in East Lansing, Michigan wants to know, if they were casting a movie about your life, what actor would play you and why? Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> Size and temperament. Hey, this is Sarah Darling, and we are back on the Country Vibe, and I'm going to go ahead and recap this week's clues. Aaron Tippin had a number one hit with There Ain't Nothing Wrong with the Radio. Pure Country, starring George Strait, was released. And last but not least, the Summer Olympics were held in Barcelona, Spain. Do you think you have the answer? Do you think it was 1994? Sicky you do, no gold medal for you. The answer is 1992. I hope you got it right. All right, back to you, Chuck. I'm about to call you out. I understand you do an impression. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Barney, Barney, Barney. Everybody always wants to say Barney. Well, as you know, Becca, oh, I can sorry, do the I show asked. with you, but I go home to Thelma okay, Lou. Well, come back Unless, to me of course, now. you want to go to the Dairy Dip no. and get a little lip cone or something like that. Then I'll go home to Thelma Lou. Okay. Come back. Oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> Whoa, okay, I'm back. All right. All right, it is time for Five on the Vibe. Can't wait for this one. We are going to play it with Mel Tillis, country superstar. Now, of course, these are five somewhat quirky questions that we ask in roughly a minute. We may give you a little bit longer, though. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's interesting how they met. Yeah, you know, she's from Alabama. He is from Oklahoma, but they actually met at a talent competition here in Nashville. He says he spotted her right away, went straight to her, but it was after she beat him at a game of pool that sparks began to fly. Really? Yeah. You and I have never played pool. Well, I'm afraid <laughs> I might fall in love with you. Oh, well, that would be a tough one. They are now signed as a duo to Broken Bow Records. They had their first single, Let's Fight, and now they have a great new song, Are You Gonna Kiss Me or Not, already in the top 20. I don't know. Are you gonna kiss me or not? Hmm. What? Oh, you're talking, I'm sorry, you're talking about the video. Let's take a look at Thompson Square right now, and are you gonna kiss me or not? You gonna kiss me or not? So what are some of the reactions that you're getting from the fans? Because I know people are just loving this song. It's a, it's a, it's a wedding song. Uh -huh. <laughs> Our special guest is Steve Holy. Great new single out, Love Don't Run. Now, Becky, the last time that I actually saw Steve, though, I was working with him on that video, Brand New Girlfriend. That's right. You were in that video with some interesting co-stars. Yeah, had a bunch of inflatable dolls. <laughs> wow. Yeah, All wow, right. is right. <laughs> with those inflatable dolls. Well, I was just trying to make my girlfriend jealous, okay? Oh, I'm sure that did it. Good acting. Freaky. <laughs> I bet that's kind of fun to just kind of see your music, you know, in, in new venues all the time. You know, the, this business, if you want to call it, it's amazing how you can be on a roll for a while and then disappear out of sight, out of mind. And then when things start rolling again, it seems like it always comes back tenfold. Tell you what, we'll look forward to you anytime you're back around this way. We want you to come by the stage. Okay. All right. This is the first time I've been sober here, by the way. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. You did well. Thanks. Yeah. Come back anytime. Thank we you. Love there you go. Cheers. 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 And to the next Chord Chronicles. All right. Chronicles. Thank All right. You. All right. Stay tuned. There's more of the country vibe right after this. Oh, good almond milk. Almond milk is really good. Good, good Ooh, and good yeah. for you. You're getting a little busy. <laughs>